Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Warcraft Rumble. This is a game that I'm currently playing on my iPhone. I'll go ahead and pop that up here. All right, so based on what I've played so far, this is Blizzard's answer to Clash Royale. Clash Royale is a 1v1, 2v2, mainly versus PvP kind of game where it's kind of like a tug of war in that You've got a tower, the enemy's got a tower, and you're going to be throwing various units at that tower. And they've got like this rock, paper, scissors thing going on where this unit is better than this unit because, you know, this counters flying. And this unit counters this, and then this unit counters this. But this one costs three energy to field, and if you can take that out with this one energy unit, you'll come out ahead because, you know, you're more energy efficient. Well, this game takes that idea and pretty much like uses all of the standard Blizzard people that you know and love. Jaina Proudmoore, for example, a, a renowned Warcraft hero is in this game. You'll find a lot of common, you know, familiar characters of the Blizzard universe located in here. It's kind of like, you know, Heroes of the Storm is to like Dota and League of Legends, whereas, you know, again, this game is more akin to Clash Royale. So let's go ahead and show you around a bit. I'm going to do this by hand. Um, this is my profile here. Um, I've been playing for a short while. I have not purchased anything. This is all free to play, but of course there's microtransactions. It wouldn't be a free to play game and it wouldn't be a Blizzard game if there weren't microtransactions. Um, settings menu real quick. So if you guys want to see that, it's all right there. Um, so there's Five main tabs on the very bottom of the screen. There's the store tab, because of course there's a store. You can spend real money to get gold. That's that's You're going to be using gold a lot. There's also various boosts. There's, of course, there's that one, you know, purchase for life thing for 20 bucks. You know, a lot of those games have that. Um, some recommend it. I, I don't plan on doing that. Um, this is where you can go to buy units um, with the gold that you have. Supposedly, there's like some synergy in how you buy certain things. Like sometimes you'll get a spot that has like a times two reward on it. I don't know how that all works yet. I haven't seen anything like that yet. But here you can look at units and decide whether or not you want to buy them. Um, you can scroll over and see what their description is. If they're fast, for example, and cheap. Um, this one has ranged, squad based, it's, uh, they're fast, so different things like that. And you can see how much uh, mana, whatever they cost, to field whenever you go to do it. The next tab over is your current squad. You're going to pick one hero, and the heroes are located on the top. I'm kind of scrolling back and forth. Um, I got Jaina Proudmore in the beginning of the game. You can choose between a couple of them. Um, each hero does something different, like she gives you a discount to all spells that you cast, because she's the mage, of course. Um, and then there's a couple of other heroes that I've unlocked along the way. I'm using this guy right now, who automatically spawns skeletons at buildings that I've captured in the match, so it gives me some free units every now and again. And yes, you can even upgrade them too, um, assuming that you've got the, the resources to do so. If I hit upgrade, you'll see that I can unlock new things um, at the cost of that little lightning bolt. I think that's arc light resource. Um, and then, you know, some other resources that I've never seen before. So again, still relatively new to the game. Um, on the very top, I'm, I guess, 24. <laughs> um, as you beat levels, you start ranking that up. Um, anyway, so yeah, you, you pick a six person team and then in addition to your hero, you've got your hero as well. Um, again, different heroes have different abilities. Some fly, some are great against this, some are great against that. So it's about finding a team that you like. They do level up over time. Um, you know, whenever you play a game, typically you get some kind of random reward to um, a minion that you have in your team or in your inventory. You'll get these shards. That's what this purple meter is in the middle. It says 29 out of 120. Um, when that reaches level eight, he'll become stronger, get more HP and, you know, all that other stuff. There's his stats there. So by just playing the game, you will eventually level these characters up over time. So there's that. And then there's a total of looks like 54 troops. I've collected 14 of them so far, um, but there's more to get, as is typical. You can change your tower skins. There's also a kobold miner that you can spawn. 
part as part of your deck he's extra and there are gold mines on the map and just by spawning him and if he, ma he safely makes his way to a gold mine he'll mine it and you'll get some extra gold that you can spend in game uh, during a match to uh, like get units faster um, there's some emotes stuff like that all right next one over is the general map um, again, I haven't gotten too far. You start off in like Elwyn Forest here and you, you know, you pick a guy, Goldtooth or Mother Fang, you fight against them, you beat them, you move on to the next one. As far as like grinding resources. So the game will reward you gold if it's the first time you've beaten that stage. But if you go back to a previous stage and beat it again, you typically only get shards for a random unit. So, you know, there's still reason to go back. It's just a random upgrade, uh, like random shard reward. However, um, I've already completed it, but there's something called arc light uh, events where a certain area will glow blue and every stage can be beaten one more time for a gold bonus but typically the ch it's a challenge mode where that typical stage is now harder in some way it also also modifies the rules in some way like the one area like i had i had two earlier today elwyn forest gave me a completely different team no units i don't i didn't own any of these units so i had no idea what they did but i had to use them and then for this other one westfall um that modifier was gold was earned during the match at a crazy insane rate so units were everywhere they were spawning everywhere so that took some getting used to again that was like arc light bonuses that pop up every now and again and you can replay those levels to get gold so there's that eventually as you level up um as you can see i've got 24 out of 160 but you start unlocking new things guilds leader choice quests leader upgrade talents arc light surge uh and so on so on so on so on so on so by completing these campaign levels you're unlocking new new things in the very beginning of the game you will not get these they're called quests i'm going to tap on that now and this allows you to play a match uh, you pick one of the three listed here and you get a bonus shard. In addition to the random shard bonus that you get for completing that, you also get a guaranteed shard bonus for that particular unit, whichever one you pick. But you have to beat it, of course. So you get that eventually. There's also PvP, which I have not touched at all. Um, I've mainly been doing the PvE stuff. I just prefer it. I'm not a big competitor. Um, as you play in the middle of the screen or bottom middle, there's three check green check marks. As you play matches, you'll unlock these tomes for the day, and that rewards you with bonus shards for a couple of different uh, troops. So you know, keep playing, and you get these tomes for the day, and then they reset every day. Uh, next tab over dungeons and raids. I have not gotten that far yet. And then a guild, free to make. You don't have to spend gold, in-game gold or anything like that. But um, apparently you get some really cool bonuses. But again, I'm not big on PvP, so I probably won't ever see anything good out of this. But yeah, there's a guild system and reasons to, like a PvP war chest kind of thing if you're into that. Okay, so I've talked for a good eight minutes now. Let's show you how the game actually works. Um, I'm going to jump into a quest. And again, I can't guarantee I'll, I'll be good at this, but uh, this is 3x bonus quest, meaning I'm going to get three times the shards I would normally get for completing one of these. Uh, so the Abomination will get 27 shards, or the Angry Chickens will get 27, or the Safe Pilot will get 27, depending on which one I pick. I'm using the Abomination a lot right now and the Angry Chickens, so I'll use the Abomination, and now I have to beat that level. I will warn you, however, sometimes the computer cheats, like I swear to gosh, like it starts off with the ability to spawn something down right away and get random chests on the battlefield and just it gets a head start on gold production. So I'll try and do the best I can to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, on the very top of the screen are some health bars. Um, that's my blue tower there. If I, that goes down, I lose. I need to take out the enemy boss in the upper left there. Um, so there's two lanes for this map, and what I like about this game is that each map is slightly different. Sometimes it'll be three lanes, sometimes it'll be a completely open field and you can spawn them anywhere uh, on on your side or whatever. It, it The levels are different, and the, the lanes are different, which is really cool. Um, it's not always a static straight up the straight up the the two lanes. Sometimes it's curvy lanes. Sometimes you'll click an arrow and the units you'll tell the units to go this way, 
or this way. So it's like railroad tracks. You're telling them which way to go at the intersection. So there's a lot of cool stuff. There are gold mines, as you can see on the map. Um, there's like one, I, I can't point, but <laughs> uh, there's a gold mine there. There's a gold mine on the left and there's a treasure chest in the middle. By mining those out, you get more gold. You will gain gold gradually over time and you're going to spawn units. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit start here. And let's start with uh, my abomination on the right, followed by maybe a, a ranged unit right behind. And again, those skeletons that are being spawned automatically, that's my leader ability. Um, so let's see what he's doing. He's spawning a bunch of stuff on the right there. I'm not liking that. Let's, let's do some... Oh, he did blizzard over there. Or it might have been a lightning bolt. All right, um, let's go ahead and spawn that guy on this side. Okay, it looks like my skeleton's getting that treasure. I got plus two bonus gold. The amount of gold I have is on the very bottom of the screen there. I am now capturing that room on the right, meaning I can now spawn units from that location, which is kind of good. Um, so I'm going to spawn some footmen there. They're like really tanky units. And I'm going to go and spawn this drake right behind it. Not bad, but an AoE spell could probably take that out, that group out. I may want to spawn something on the left, but it looks like my lone, my hero there, is just taking out the boss automatically, so I really don't have to do much else. This is actually fairly easy. It's usually, sometimes it can be really, really hard. Alright, so I got a random bonus. I got, it just so happened I got an abomination plus six combat experience, but that's the random one I was talking about. You get a random bonus. But if I continue... And then I go to the quest area. It'll tell me that I've won my 3x reward, which was 20-some shards. There it is. So I got 27 shards. So tap that. I am now level 7. And, yeah, I've gained power, health, and that kind of thing. All right, cool. And if I hit quest again, now you'll see three different units. It's random. Um, I'm using Footman, so maybe I do that. Or the Pyromancer. I am using the Pyromancer, so maybe I'll do that. Again, it, a lot of this is all about countering. How, how do I counter... If I see these units coming down the lane, how do I counter this? I think I hate this one, to be honest with you. This is a good example of a weird lane one. I can I can tap the arrow. Yeah, switches. I can I can tap them, make it go right, or I can, you know, go straight up. I'm going to go ahead and hit start, tap that. Okay, there's a kobold miner, but I'm going to get some... Let's get some of those guys out first. And then he'll follow and mine that out. He's got some angry chickens, but luckily I've got a mage and someone that does AoE damage. Okay, nice. They're going to go that way. I'm going to tell... Oh, no, go that way. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and switch gears now. My kobold is mining. Nice. Um, okay, I want to save that stone if I can. Let's get a ranged unit right behind it. I can't tell what's going on, but that's okay. More chickens coming down that lane. Let's go ahead and spawn right, right there. It'll fly and boom, dead. Alright, I kind of want a kobold over here. One, sometimes these maps are too big for their own good. Sometimes it's hard to, like, see. That's one of my complaints with it. Nice. Another victory. Again, sometimes they don't go that well. So my, my Drake randomly got that shard bonus, and now I should get a bonus for the other thing. Yeah, the Pyromancer. I got nine for that. There was no times three bonus there, so it's just the standard nine shards. And again, if I hit this again, another nine shards for someone else. I can do this all day. There's no, like, energy, like, in Farmville, and I have to spend, you know, I have to wait so long to, you know, to get energy back. None of that. Um, or, again, I can play these campaign missions. Um, they're sort of color-coded by difficulty. So if you see, like, uh, if I tap on this, Gaslo, for example, has a gray five, so, like, it's really easy, supposedly, for me. Uh, whereas Gr uh, Gromash Hellscream is uh, green. It's semi-easy, but it's the hardest mission on here for this for this map. And then over here, 
there's green, 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 yellow. So we're starting to get harder. So before you can really move into a new area, you kind of have to grind out levels for your troops. So like all in all, in terms of like review, um, again, I haven't played it fully yet, but I'll give you my first impressions. I'm actually kind of addicted to this right now. Um, it's enjoyable. Um, I don't get to play it as often as I like because of my uh, tendonitis. Uh, in both wrists, unfortunately, but it is fun. Like, um, I love that there's, I love that each level has a different playing field. Um, Clash Royale is very PVP heavy, whereas this game has a PVE element. I must have several hours into this game already, and not once have I had to do PVP. And that's, that's one thing I hate. Uh, I, I get into a mobile game, and then, oh, by the way, you've been raided. PvP is now turned on because you've reached level 30 or whatever. Stupid. I hate that. I, I, I insta-quit at that point. Um, you know, so this game is, it seems to be very PvE friendly, which is something I look for in a game like this. And it's free to play. Of course, there's microtransactions out the wazoo, but of course that's, you know, both Blizzard and, you know, you've got a phone, right? Right? Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, I enjoy this. Uh, I'm having fun with it. It's a bit grindy. Uh, it's it's designed that way to make you spend real money. Um, I mean, look at the freaking uh, the one thing alone. Twenty bucks, the arc light booster, plus twenty percent shards earned, plus fifty percent gold earned, one thousand gold plus three hundred and fifty five banked for a total of thirteen fifty five. Like Blizzard knows it's grindy, and is making you pay to bring it back up to the levels that it may may should be i don't know <laughs> i'm just saying so yeah just be warned that you know it is a bit grindy unless you're willing it's it is clearly pay to win um or at least pay to advance in this case um i have found that you know playing against the computer even though my units might be level seven or eight if i'm sloppy and spawn units his level three or four units can annihilate those level seven, eight units because of that whole rock, paper, scissors thing. If I spawn a bunch of chickens, I don't care if they're level eight, 10, 12, whatever, that Drake is going to like with the fire breath, just incinerate the chickens. Even at level two, a level two Drake could do that. So I'm just saying like, you know, it is possible to still screw up and lose if you're not careful. So anywho, that was um, Warcraft Rumble. Uh, again, mobile game, iPhone, pro pro probably on the uh, Android as well. Highly recommend it, free to play. But again, expect the grind and expect some microtransactions. No forced ads, I will say that. Thank God. <laughs> In fact, I haven't seen a way to watch ads at all, which is refreshing. Um, typically there's like some kind of little icon that I can tap on and watch an ad to, to finish this job immediately or, you know, deduce or reduce the amount of hours on this project by two hours or some BS like that. Um, nothing, nothing like that. It's, it's definitely ad free. I, I no forced ads so far. In fact, again, like I said, I, there's no way for me to watch ads to get gold or whatever. All of this is like gameplay so like i'm impressed with this um again i i wish they blizzard would do more with heroes of the storm you know that's been out for ages and i would love to see updates there but um for now i suppose this will do well this is vince thanks for watching i will catch you all next time take care